This is example 427 that is solved within the chapter number 4 in the book of mechanical vibration from Rao. And we will calculate the solution for a step force and for initial conditions for a system that is over them. We will be using the method of the Laplace transform. We are given the mass, which is 2 kg, the constant of the damper, which is 8 newton seconds over meters, and the constant of the spring, which is 6 newtons over meter. Therefore, we can calculate the natural frequency of the system, which is 1.73 radians over second. We can also calculate the damping ratio, which is zeta. C over 2 square root of Km. It gives me a zeta value equals 115. That means that the system is overdamped. The external force applied to the system is a step function. It means that it's zero before time equals zero and is a constant value which is equal in this case to 5 after t equals to zero. We have also initial conditions. We have the initial displacement equals to 1 meter and initial velocity equals to 2 meters per second. The equation of motion of the system is mass times acceleration plus constant of the damper times velocity plus constant of the spring times displacement equals to the external force applied. We will apply the Laplace transform to find our solution. And the solution will be the inverse Laplace transform. To recall, we have to apply the Laplace transform for, for both sides of the equation. The Laplace transform of a second derivative will be equals to m s squared x as a function of s minus s, the initial displacement, minus the initial velocity, plus c times s x s minus the initial displacement, plus k times x as a function of s. That is equals to the Laplace transform of our external function. We can solve for, for x in terms of s, and we get here that the terms that multiply my xs is, are ms squared plus cs plus k. And that's equals to what we call the perturbation, which is the Laplace form of the applied force plus the terms that involve the initial conditions. Solving for my function in terms of s, I get that the perturbation is multiplied by the transfer function. Recall that the transfer function is only a function of the characteristics of the system, m, c, and k. We could find the inverse transform of the whole system, or we could find the inverse transform for the external force and for the initial conditions. Therefore, my x in the time domain will be the inverse transform of fs times the transfer function plus the inverse transform of the terms involving the initial conditions. Let's start by the solution of the initial conditions. Let's apply the numbers that are given in the problem. So we have the Laplace transform of the mass, which, which is 2 s plus c which is 8 multiplied by the, the initial displacement which is 1 plus the mass times the initial velocity and all divided by the denominator of the transfer function which is 2s squared plus 8s plus k which is 6. Let me simplify this expression and this will be I take out 2 from both the numerator and the denominator and I get that the numerator is s plus 6 and underneath I can factorize this polynomial of second order and it's s plus 1 times s plus 3. Remember that we have to look for a number that add the middle number which is 4 and that multiplies 3. And now I have to separate that in two fractions and to do that I will multiply it a times this denominator and b times this denominator right and make it equal to this one right here and from here i get two equations a plus b that multiply s will be equals to one 
and 3a plus b will be equal to 6. I make equal the coefficients of both polynomials in both sides of the equation. So in this system, which is very easy, I get that a will be equal to 5 half and b is equal to negative 3 half. Then I write my equation again as 5 half the first fraction minus 3 half the second fraction. And the inverse of this expression is very easy because if you look at the table, the inverse of 1 over s is 1. And the inverse of 1 over s plus a number will be e to the negative that number. And in this case, this is also very easy inverse function because this will be equals to e to the negative 3. Finally, my solution to the initial conditions is this function right here. Now let's do the solution for the step function. And this is a very similar process. And that will be the inverse function of my transform for the external force times the transfer function. That will be 5 over s is the transfer is the inverse of the step function and times the transfer function. Let me input the values. So it will be 5 over s times 1. The mass is 2. The constant of the damper is 8. And the constant of the spring is 6. We have to convert that into three fractions. I will put out the 2 from this polynomial right here. So I get 5 over 2 that multiply this s times s squared 4 plus 3. And we already factorized this polynomial. So we can get that this is 5 over 2 goes out of the Laplace transform. And then I get s times s plus 1, s plus 2. This has to be converted to three fractions. Before we had two fractions, now we have three fractions. So it will be a over s plus b over s plus 1 plus c over s plus 3. Let's develop these fractions. And I have to multiply a for the two other denominators, b for the two other denominators and C for these two other denominators so that I can get the same numerator, right? And that will be equals to the numerator of this fraction to make it equivalent. I Let me develop these multiplications. And I get A S square plus 4 S A plus 3 A plus B S square plus B 3s plus cs squared plus cs equals 1. I get three equations. The coefficient that goes with s squared is a plus b plus c. The coefficient that goes with s is a for a plus 3b plus c, and that's both are equals to 0. And then I get the independent co coefficient is equals to 3a, and this is equals to 1. When I solve that, system I get that a is equals one third and therefore I input that in the two other equations and I subtract the equations and I get that 3 over 3 negative 3 over 3 will be equals to 2b and that gives me that b is equals to negative one half and then I solve for c that gives me equals to one six. Now that I have these three constants, I have the three fractions and my inverse is very easy to obtain. So I get the 5 half and the three fractions, my coefficient a, my coefficient b, and my coefficient c. Now the inverse transform of this expression is equal to 5, 6 to the, this is, the inverse of 1 over s is just 1, the inverse of s plus 1 
in the denominator is e to the negative t and the inverse of s plus 3 is equals to e to the negative 3t and we have to multiply that everything for 5 half. The total solution will be the solution for the initial conditions plus the solution for the step function. And that gives me, if I have an independent term, which is 5 over 6, and then I add the terms that multiply by e to the negative t, that give me 5 half e to the negative t, and it gives me minus 13 over 12 e to the negative 3t. This is the response for the whole system. To review, we calculated the theta to understand what kind of system we have, and then this is a review of the theory, and then we got the solution for the initial conditions, and then we got the solution for the step function, and added both solutions, and we got the total response of the system.